and welcome back to another video! Oh yeah, it's here where I just skipped straight to me selecting the level. And this, pretty much all of this is going to be 8 times speed. Like, I'm probably just like going to download some uh, copyright free Mario music or something because this goes on for a little while. Um, and I'm pretty much out of stuff to say, so I'm going to try and talk about this without um, eventually repeating myself because by the time this is done, there's going to be a rant, um, which is where I'll just like, hey, look. Um, I'm just gonna say goodbye here. Hope you enjoyed the video, but no, um, that's if I can even think of stuff to say by then, but yeah, I'm not gonna really talk, talk too much about this mission, because like I said, um, at the end of this, um, video, I'll be ranting about it, ranting and raving about it, and how much bullshit it is. Um, but yeah, it, it is just like me, just like, going back and forth, back and forth, back and forth for hours and the damn this level this level is the main reason why this uh, these videos took so long to get out like um, sure and um, the red coins uh, um, they took they took a while for me to find all of them but they're nothing compared to this. Like, this is by far the worst level in Super Mario Sunshine. I honestly hate this level with every fiber of my being. Um, so yeah, it's just this again and again and again. Like, seriously, why you do this to me? But yeah, eh. Oh, and there's also the bonus level that unlocks. I forgot about that, so I'll probably just, like, give that bonus level his very own episode at some point. Um, just go around getting every shine possible. Um, but, yeah. Um, this. I really don't have anything more to say. I'll, um... Probably just like download some music quickly, edit that in, save the video, and then edit it down quickly, and then just like sort all that out, and then get part one of this um, mini series uploaded. And I'll see you guys in the next video, which for me will probably be wherever I decide to record tomorrow because I'm probably not going to get past Undyne. <laughs> but who knows, I might uh, um, get uber lucky and get past Undyne. Um, but if I, do, if I do get past Undyne, then it'll be Undertale. Um, uh, which will probably be the same for you. Um, or if I, uh, But you'll already know if I will have been getting past Undyne. Um, but I don't. And I'll probably be past Undyne, but might be past Undyne. It might still be the same for you, even when this video goes up. Um, or, you know, whatever part of Undertale I'm at. Or whatever video I decide to record instead of Undertale. Wait, where's the thing gone? Eh, doesn't matter. Anyway, I'll see you guys... Ah, oh, there it is. I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.
Alright, that's it, I give up. I cannot get this shine at all. This is bleeding impossible. Um, like seriously. Let me just quickly rant about this shine quickly. I'll probably try at another point in time, but uh, at this point in time, I cannot do this. So basically, once you get on here, you have to hear that a couple times, a few times, uh, in the till uh, you get to the uh, only fruit Yoshi wants. And it, uh, it's completely random which one of the uh, fruits you get, things you get. And, it, if, and it, you can uh, even get the same one e when you already have it. And if you do, it's not going to re-roll. It's just going to give you nothing. Not only that, but the bananas, if the bananas come out, it, they can fall in such a position where they will uh, send it to the actual fruit, the spiky fruit that Yoshi wants, off the edge where it is very hard and next to impossible to get it to Yoshi. Then, after you've done all that, you have to get to the fruit to Yoshi, then feed Yoshi the fruit. Get on Yoshi. Go over here, and then just like get all the way over there. Like, these platforms and Doing this isn't too hard, it's mostly just timing it right so that uh, the platform doesn't appear so high above the fish when you kill them that you can't jump onto the platform, period. And you have to do that for uh, all of these jumps apart from that from like that one over there to that one there. Um, and then that very last jump is next to impossible. And not only that, but you have... Two limiting factors here. One, the fact that Yoshi's juice will uh, event will eventually run out and he will just disappear. And there are no fruit anywhere for you to eat um, to replenish his juice. Secondly, to turn the pla fish into platforms, you have to use up that juice meter. So if you miss or if you uh, hit it, hit the fish and it's uh, too high so you can't jump onto the platform, otherwise you'll fall into the water, then you, you've you used the juice to turn it into a platform in the first place, which was a waste, and then you're using the juice to wait for the platform to disappear and then for the fish to respawn. Like, um... If memory says I did manage to save the footage of me doing the uh, melon, um, taking the giant watermelon uh, to to the guy, and that is regarded as uh, the uh, and doing that is regarded as uh, the biggest time killer in a glitchless run of Super Mario Sunshine speed run. But this is even worse. You have RNG time constraints. Like, the only way I can uh, think of you doing this within a reasonable amount of time in a speed run is get lucky on and uh, get that fruit on the first try. Then, just infinite flutter um, glitch all the way over there. And which is extremely difficult. Like, uh, um, I can't get, I can't even do it uh, once, and you'd have to continuously do it all the way from here to fucking Victory Town. All the way over there. And that. I don't know, that's the only way, because um, not only that, but I've been, like, glitched off of the platforms where I've landed on the platform, but I was. Uh, Close enough to the edge for the game to like, nah, fuck you, uh, into the uh, water you go. That is what you have to contend with. Not only that, but, uh, um... Oh, that decided to go all the way over there, I didn't know about that. Um, not only that, but you can't even just, like, make your own way over there using the, the, uh, the nozzles, because if I, I can easily make my way over there using a what, this nozzle. If I go over here... And I jump out of the water here. Blast myself. Oh, come on, that fish knocked me off course. And I don't think I can get up there from down here. No. Fuck you, fish.
So I'm just gonna. Jump. All the way up here. You have that bleeding goo that you have to get Yoshi up here for. T so he uh, can uh, spray it. And there's no other way to get in there. Now come on. Seriously. Yeah, so this, at least for me, is impossible. Like, if you know a glitch, like... If you can, like, tell me a glitch where if I get here, I can, like, somehow glitch my way into this. Even if it's pixel perfect, I'll take it. Just, like, find a way to glitch into it. Like, I'll do a little bit of research on, like, speed ones, but... I just really need to rant about this. Like, seriously. This, without glitches, is bleeding stupid. Like, come on. Nintendo. So yeah, people complain about the bleeding watermelon, this is a billion times worse. At least with the watermelon one, yes you have to make go through all of the ducks, but at least if you're patient you can, I think you can actually kill them by leading them to the little uh, sprout guys and then uh, blasting them into the sky and killing them. Um, I'm sure the watermelon is a little bit delicate, but at least... Uh, it's, you're not uh, on a time, at least you don't have to get there within five seconds otherwise of the watermelon uh, spawn, otherwise it explodes, or some uh, things like that. You can, at, at least with that, you can actually take your time and go about doing it delicately. With this, you're on a time limit, and uh, at least the watermelon doesn't uh, require you to uh, hit, uh, hover between two, um... Buttons and repeatedly mash them, mash them there to get a to get a chance of uh, rolling it down the hill, and it, um, and it, then they put uh, the um, buttons on the top of the mountain. They did at least they didn't do all that shit. With this, they might. This is basically that. Seriously. Also, you can walk on them because you instantly fall off. Jesus Christ, this level is bullshit. Like, on so many fucking levels. So, yeah, this is where I'm just going to end off um, this, uh, uh, this episode of Super Mario Sunshine. This episode, no joke, this, is li this level is literally the only reason it took me so long to release this level. This is bullshit. Like, I, I, I'm gonna edit this all together, and then I'm gonna look up um, some speed ones, and then skip all the way to this part, and see what they do at this part, and see um, if I can get replicate it myself. But and but if not, this is where the episode will end. I'm gonna go through some. I'm gonna go uh, to therapy, and like I said, if you guys know any like glitches that will help me here. Please do, because I can't. I can't do the infinite flutter jump because, seriously, that that is. If you can do the infinite flutter jump well, I commend you for that. Because I literally hit um, X, then L, but Yoshi just launches to the floor, and I was like, oh, I f it could just be that I'm holding A while I'm holding uh, when I press X. So I let go of A, I press X, and I press L, but Yoshi still just plummets to the floor. Like, this, did this game get updated without me knowing, um, if you're playing it on the Wii? Like, seriously. Anyway, I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye. Jesus Christ. If you liked this video, don't forget to hit that like button, comment down below what you thought of this video, and uh, if you want to see more of my stupid face, don't forget to hit that to subscribe and uh, the ring a ding that uh, notification bell. Otherwise, YouTube won't uh, notify you of when I'm uploading videos for some unknown reason. And I'll see you guys in the next video.